did we meet? At a ranch rodeo. That's where we're at tonight. <laughs> Small world, it comes around in circles. <laughs> Hang on, start over. <laughs> oh, we start out at Cabot at my home farm. Well, once we did that, we got our own cattle and got a lease place and started farming that way. And now we've moved on to working for another company and running cattle for them full time and pastoring at Crossroads Cowboy Church in Bismarck. I was lucky enough to go on a very blind date with a gentleman named Cooter Plyler. Um, I'm still blind, um, not by love, um, by a lot of variety of things. If you've been married for 12 years, you understand that concept. We met in, we actually went to high school together and we started dating after high school. Uh, we ended up back on the farm because I was raised on a family farm and have always liked it and that's kind of what I wanted to do and when I was in college we had an opportunity to buy some chicken houses and get back on the farm so that's kind of where we're at and why we're in farming. And um, fun fact, he stood me up the first date. He stood me up the first date with a girl that I knew and um, it didn't work out for him. So I was his second best. Kayla, how do you feel about that? Yeah, how do you feel? Oh, mad face, mad face, he's angry. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't work out, did it? No. Mm -mm. And we met in 1994 when I was still active duty in the military, going to school, uh, college at night at the air base. She was taking classes out there. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was both our first college classes together. <laughs> and I uh, instantly noticed her in class and stuff like that. There was her long hair and a beautiful smile and just uh, the, her intelligence and stuff was wonderful. We, uh, we got married short time after that, it wasn't very well, long. Well, I noticed you. Uh, he was well liked in the class. I know everybody was around him and he was always helping people and he had this big smile and he was always laughing and you know, and pretty handsome, he had them pretty blue eyes, you know. And so we, uh, he asked me for coffee afterwards after class one day and it's went from there, 28 years later, still happily married. And then uh, after I retired from the military and took some other jobs and she retired from being a quality manager in a cabinet company, cabinet door company, uh, we got into beekeeping and started a small beekeeping business out here in Scott, Arkansas. We met through Benton County 4-H going to camp probably back in 2001 or so was like our earliest time to pinpoint that we'd known each other. And then we showed cattle in high school and stuff together and just kind of started talking after that. And we got reacquainted our senior year of high school, so we've been together since, since high school. We both knew we wanted to come back to the farm, um, but I ran my shop, ATV shop here on the farm, the first 10 years of our marriage uh, to have a supplemental income while we got our roots established of our own on this farm, even though it goes back even further for Chrissy's parents. Um, yeah, it's just amazing how it all came together because looking back to be able to buy the adjoining property to Shereen Farms that was already established and have our house and shop here and just really bring it all together. So I just work here and I take care of the kids and I let Chrissy do all the hard work and so I am the American Trophy husband. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think he's here. Wait, did, did you decide to come, come to work today? Did you sign to come? Did you show up today? I came supporting you. Oh, look, y'all. He showed up today. Oh, still no taste. But he's here. I'm glad you found a taller version of me. Yeah, boost your ego just a little. We met in October. I guess we, we were high school sweethearts. Went to school together. Started dating in October of 1997. We went to a homecoming dance. Yeah. That was our first date. Yeah. And the rest was history after yeah. that, right? I was 16, <laughs> you were 15. 15 at the time. Mm -hmm. So we were pretty young. But. We kind of knew each other before, but we had some mutual friends, and so we ended up going to dance together. Yeah. Been together ever since. We wound up here on the farm. You know, I've, I've always lived and worked here on the farm. Most of them didn't come from a farm family. But uh, when we got married, I moved her to Cash, 
Big City Cash, and she's stayed here ever since. And the way we met was we had a, uh, a good friend that was a preacher of ours, and uh, he preached down here at Louisville for us, and he wanted to, him and his wife moved back closer to her family, which is up in Kentucky, just a little bit above Paris, and uh, anyhow, he filled in for him, and he met Tracy and her, her brothers and her mom and daddy and her family and spent the afternoon with them, and, and in between church services, he calls me, and, and I'm here on the farm doing something, and he said, man, I, I met this girl that would be perfect for you. You need to meet her. So, but he had, he had given me her phone number and I was, I was cutting hay down there in the river bottoms and we was behind on cutting hay and the, the Johnson grass had grew taller than the cab tractor and I cut up and it was just a giant wall of hay. And I got out and I took a picture of this cab tractor up against this giant wall of hay I was cutting and I took a picture of it and I sent it to her and I just asked her, I said, do you need some high? You know, that was the only thing I could think of to, to break the ice and start making the conversation. But go ahead. Our first date was uh, was was very nice. I went and picked her up. After he stood me up. It's hard to be stood up before we knew each other. That was a long story. I was busy the weekend before. With another girl. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I took her to, uh, to uh, what I figured out after a while was not her favorite place to eat. <laughs> In case y'all do not know, she does not like Outback. We went there, mm -hmm. she doesn't like Outback. But I, how was I to know? It was the first day. Yeah. But I took her uh, to play putt-putt, and uh, that was pretty entertaining. We were playing putt-putt. We were on about hole number six, and my phone had rang approximately 10 times. Um, 10,000 times. I had some cows out and the sheriff's department just kept calling so apparently they wanted me to put them in so I finally told her I said look we're gonna have to cut this short we got to go get the cows in so uh, those of you that's ever been to our place where I lived at the time was a little bit different than when we live now it's sketchy like deliverance like we're very rural Arkansas like and she did not know me at all at blind all. date but uh, with this so I told her, I said, well, we'll we're going to go do that. So we went and ran the cows in. I took her outside, and uh, she had never been around cattle, never anything farm in her life. And uh, I told her, I said, why don't you feed this bottle calf? And I let her feed the bottle calf, and like catfish would say, I had her no. snagged no. from that point on. No, not at all. 